Hey Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Hey Alexa, what time is it? It's 6.25 a.m. Hey Alexa, what's the date? Hey Alexa, what's the date? Today is Saturday, February 4th. Hey Alexa, hey Alexa, what's the weather forecast? The current weather is 38 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. You can expect more of the same today, with a high of 48 degrees and a low of 34 degrees. I got it, I got it. Today, though, I'll tell you why in a second. Today's video topic for my cold plunge diaries is a brief history on cold water therapy. So, I got my notes here because I got to read it out here word for word. It's pretty cool. So, cultures around the world have been using cold water therapy for thousands of years. For example, cold water immersion was used for therapeutic and relaxation purposes in ancient Greece and promoted by a Roman physician. Claudius Galen as a treatment for fever. I haven't been sick for a while. And then uh, physician Edgar Hines came out with research in the early 20th century about how cold water immersion works in the body, on the body, in particular, the effects of cold water immersion on blood pressure and the autonomic nervous system, which controls the processes like heart rate, which I've done videos on, on how mine has changed, and uh, the widening and narrowing of your blood vessels. In the early 2000s, researchers turned their attention to cold water and exercise recovery. Quote, a lot of the research that we see now shows how cold water influences circulation, how that plays into muscle damage that occurs as a result of exercise and also uh, some of the cellular processes that go into muscle soreness, end quote. As a result, many professionals and everyday athletes, how are you doing? It's me right here. Uh, use cold water therapy to help recover from exercise, which I did when I signed up for Ironman Arizona last year. That's why I got this cold plunge. And then reached recent interest, somewhat recent interest, in cold water therapy is in thanks in part to Wim Hof. Hof, also known as the Iceman, is a Dutch extreme athlete who earned his nickname by breaking world records related to cold exposure. He was swimming under ice for distances. He was sitting in containers full of ice cubes for long periods of time. He took what he learned from his cold water experiences and created the Wim Hof Method, very famous. It's a combination of breath work, cold therapy, and uh, commitment practices. Proponents claim that his method increases energy, boosts the immune system, improves sleep, and helps the body heal faster. And now you know a brief history on cold water therapy and what it does. I think I'm beginning to annoy my wife and kids because my energy level is through the roof. I start off by doing this cold plunge in the morning the last week and a half whether it's 5.30, 6.30, whatever it is, they get up at 7, 7.30, I got breakfast ready for them, I'm playing music, I'm doing the uh, Ric Flair, woo, all over the morning, it's funny, it's hilarious to me, uh, but I don't know, I just, I'm jolted with energy and enthusiasm. I'm inspired by those uh, successful people like Tony Robbins, Joe Rogan, we're talking about successful people who use cold water as a morning routine practice. Hey, if you wanna be like successful people, do what successful people do. And I'm loving this experience. I'm a little bummed out that I'm gonna be uh, out of town tomorrow morning so I can't do my cold plunge. And then uh, I'm gonna have another week off because I'm leaving town. So I'm gonna be a little bummed, but 
I look forward to it when I get back. It's just been amazing. Oh, what? That's it, five minutes. Hey Alexa, stop. Even though I go five, six minutes every day, you really, hey Alexa, stop. You really only need a total, according to experts, 10 to 12 minutes per week of cold water immersion, full body immersion to experience the benefits I talked about with the blood pressure, the lowering of uh, inflammation and so on, recovery, uh, mood boosting, all that good stuff. 10 to 12 minutes a week total. So you can, you can break it up into segments, whatever works out. And the cold temperature, as you've seen on the screen, just gotta be uncomfortable. Something that's difficult to handle, but something you can withstand for that period of time. And I'm at 50 degrees right now. I plan on dropping it because I've been doing 50 for uh, the last 10 plunges. And, I, and I'm doing that at 50 because I want to practice going underwater full body with my head because it also gets me fired up. I'm going to drop it down a few degrees and, and see if I can handle even colder temperatures underwater. Anyways, one more dip from me. I can help you save 150 bucks off a cold plunge. Use Dave150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com, Dave150. You'll save 150 bucks off your cold plunge. You can get a cold plunge, you can get a hot plunge. So they've got a heater that'll heat it up to 102, 104 degrees. Or you get the, uh, and they also have a combination, a hot and cold, so it can do both. Or you get the straight up cold plunge, which has a great chiller on it. Constant movement of the jets, it's got a light in here. Best health investment I've ever made. Yeah, that's right. Anyways, I'm done. All right, all right, all right. Hey, just keep living. Have a great day. Whatever you do, make it count. And I'll see you uh, in a couple of days. Adios. If you want to experience the benefits of cold water immersion or contrast water therapy, Use my code Dave150, Dave150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Save $150 off your next purchase. That's Dave150 at thecoldplunge.com.